that's how hateful for me to tell you the word. Wow. That's the mind of the so-called black woman, right? Wow! Wants to wear pants, right? Wow! Denied God for pants! Wow! Oh! Oh! What's up? Denied God for pants! That is all! My mind is blown, right? Sandals on the way I'm sliding up I won't join no gang cause I speak truth and I ain't slime enough I can't kill my brothers, we the same, it's just not adding up Esau he a killer, Gino side, he keeps attracting us Most, Most I, I say, say be fruitful, multiply so we be adding up Compare his seed to the sand of the sea, we deep so you can't add us up My people they got hate inside their heart, they wanna paint us up Grew up in the red zone, blood tears, I see red flags on us This world be killing me with lies the way they capping on me Like these publicans, they coons and seeing the way they taxing on me. Prove what you say, the evidence, show me the facts, little homie Don't hold your tongue, just bring it out, what's on your mind, little brody? Riding on 4 Giados, bougie, how we sit, Moscato huh. Feast days of the Lord, champagne, be rainy, poncho huh. Salvation of the Lord's people, come on, we need that pronto huh. Wisdom, yes, it bring riches, like we just won a lotto Keep these commandments in the faith, my brother, that's the motto huh. Most how humble you quick, boy, if you think you macho It's real, we poor, but we riches The people, the people of God, alright? It's God's chosen people. That's what the Israelites are, right? Give me uh, 2 Ezra chapter 5, verse 22. Yeah. Chapter 5. The book of 2 Ezra. Chapter 5 and verse 22. And it reads. The Most High, he has a, a favorite. He, he has favorite things in this world that he made. Right? We're going to read some of those favorite things that he made. 2 Ezra 5 and 22. And my soul recovered the spirit of understanding. And I began to talk with the Most High again. And said, O oh Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth, and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine. And of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. This is speaking about what the Most High chose on this earth, right, right? Like it. And of all building cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. The Lord's chosen people are the Israelites, all right? So we're about to read what happened to the Israelites. Who are the Israelites today, all right? Because some man might say, uh, but well, we ain't got the picture, all right? But the so-called white man is the Jewish man, right? You know about the Jewish man. Some people might say that's God's chosen people, all right? But we're going to see who the real, who, who's God's chosen people, right? According to the Bible. Come, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Lord is essentially saying, right, in the future, if you don't listen to my commandments, I'm going to place curses upon you. You understand that, sister? Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing, right? Now, read verse 16. Verse number 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. What people are living cursed in the city and fields? And was living cursed in the fields? So-called Mexicans and, and who else? Come here, brother. Come here. That's right. That's right. Come check out this side. That's, that's your woman right there. She kind of leaving you. Come, on, come here. Get, get your house order. Come on this side. All right. Now read, let, just read. Step oh, where she at. Step, like, you good. You good, King. No, you step, step in front of her, though. All right. <laughs> Look, it's, it's all good, King. Look. Check out this sign. Yes. These people right here are living cursed in the cities. All right. Absolutely. And cursed in the fields. All right. Yep. So what we read it right here is in the Bible, a particular people are living cursed in the cities and the fields. God's chosen people. All right. So who would that make us according to the Bible? I would make you the black Israelites. Well, not the black Israelites, right? The Israelites. The Israelites. But you're an Israelite too, brother. All right? You see I've never been told that. You see yourself on this side? I do see myself right here. Let me show you something Here's real, real quick. Let me give you one verse. Right. Give me verse 49. One verse real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. No. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, 
as swift as the eagle flight. The Lord said, while y'all was over here dwelling, right, in America, in, in, uh, in Mexico, the Lord said he was going to bring a nation against thee from far. That's right. All right. Read it from the top again. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. When the so-called Spaniards came over here, they was bearing the eagle. All right. That's their sign, right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Y'all didn't understand Spanish when y'all first came over here. What language is y'all speaking? Uh, it's, it's the indigenous language. Y'all speaking different dialects of Hebrew. All right. You ever heard? The Los Lunas Decla stone. It's a stone that contained the Ten Commandments in Paleo Hebrew. All right, you gotta research that. That's even further proof. Look, 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 brother. This the Los Lunas Decla stone. It was an artifact they found over here in the Americas that contained the Ten Commandments in Paleo Hebrew. Yeah, in New Mexico. So how did that? Why, why was that item found over here? And uh, the, 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 the reason why it's over here is because y'all God shows the people. Even Christopher Columbus, you know Christopher Columbus? I know him. It's a man he had with him. I know. He had somebody named uh, by the name of Louis the Taurus, right? My he was a Hebrew interpreter when he came over here. So Christopher Columbus, he needed a Hebrew interpreter when he came over here to the Americas. My ancestor was the second governor. Of what? Okay, okay, okay. All praise. But you will be a you will be an Israelite according to the Bible. What you say? What you say? We're out of here. Thank you. You will be an Israelite. Wait, yeah, Christopher Columbus. Well, what's her descendants? All right. She might be related to Christopher Columbus. But anyways, all right, sister. So these people, they curse in the cities and curse in the fields. These people on the side right here. You listen to sister? All right. So these people, go to, go to 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, delicate his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. I'm going to wait to that. I'm going to wait to that. Uh, can you hear me? Read it from the top again. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So our people, once upon a time, we used to be tender and delicate amongst each other, all right? But how do we treat each other now? As so-called black people, how do they treat each other? You said, well, well, as a whole, as a majority, how do we treat each other with love? Or do we show forth hate? You don't see a lot of love, right? You see a so-called black man, you see this a lot within our communities. They they go they they go wait in line, you know, Saturday morning for the for the latest Jordans, right? And and they kill somebody over them pair of Jordans, right? Just because he had his size, right? You never see that with the with the Chinese man, right? He got the the, 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 the man, the so-called black man got the last size. And another black man he killed him because he got the last size, right? You never see that in the so-called white community, right? So-called uh, uh Chinese community. You never see that, right? But that happened to us as a people. Even within our music, how, how is our music uh, relating to, to the next uh, brother? Is it good? Do they, is they talking about loving their own brothers and their sons? What they, what they talking about in their sons? A lot of hate. A lot of, a lot of smoking on op packs, right? A lot of taking their, their brother's wives. Right? That's the stuff that we rap about, right? You, do you see, uh, you know, Bruce Lee rapping about, you know, killing Jackie Chan in the, in the next, next songs and stuff like that? But it's happening to us, right? Why? Why is this happening to us? Because God says so. Remember the first verse I read to you was, hey, it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken, that he was going to place curses upon us if we don't listen, all right? So these things happen to us because we disobey God, all right? We curse because we, we disobey our Heavenly Father, all right? Just like with any other father, he's going to punish his children if they disobey. We do it to ourselves, all right? Bring it up. Ah, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. How do we treat our women as a whole, as a people? Yeah, yeah how do, how do so-called black men treat their children, I mean, their uh, women? Not good, all right? We can even go back to the uh, to the music, all right? Even the movies, all right? You got a movie called Ike and Tina, where uh, what love got to do with it, all right? That's a movie. Why, why is we portraying movies like that within our movies? Because we hate each other. That's the curse that's placed upon us as a people. All right, right? And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children. What do you think this man that hates his brother, all right, that, that despises women, what do you think he's going to do to his children? 
Well, let, let's find out, all right? Let's, let's find out. You remember your father and your household? Well, let, let's see. And toward the remnant of his, of his children, which he shall leave, which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. He's going to teach him how to play gifts. Which he shall leave. Teach him how to fight. Which he shall leave. Teach him how to fight. Teach him how to be a man. Teach him how to be a man. Which he shall leave. Teach him how to be a man. Which he shall leave. Teach him how to be a man. Which he shall leave. This man will be known for leaving his children. All right? Who does that sound like? Who is that? What people is this? It's us, right? Gotta but what's their nationality? What's their race? Because they, 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 the God didn't call them black. He didn't call them African American, right? Because those terms aren't found within the Bible. All right? What did he call them? This guy's chosen people. What did he call them? Though? What's their race? Israelites, right? They're, these are Israelites, right? So what would that make our race? If these things are pertaining to us, these things happen to us. Israelites, right? So you have to pick two and two together, right? This Bible is a, a, a book of puzzles, right? Parables, similitudes, right? You have to understand, you have to go precept upon precept to understand these things, right? Why haven't we been told this, that we God's chosen people? Why isn't this broadcast? Why are we called black? Give me Psalm chapter 40 and verse 44. Why are we called black? What's going on? Why, how, how can we reverse these things? You know? So we got cursed for disobeying God. Right? So we obey, right? His word. Give me Daniel chapter 9 and 11. Bring it up. Psalms 44 and verse 14. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. The Lord made us a byword among the nations, all right? What's your nationality? What's your race? Y'all got a minute for the Bible? Y'all have a minute for the Bible? Y'all got a minute for the Bible? Step up here. Alright, so in order to, to, to reverse these curses, we have to keep God's commandments, alright? Teach him on the teach him on the side. Alright? Teach him on the side. So do you know any commandments? Not at all, you don't know no commandments? You ever heard of You ever heard of thou shall not murder? Thou shall not kill? You ever heard of that? Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not commit adultery. You ever heard of those things? Okay, okay. Let me show you. Let me show you something real quick. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 8. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 and 8. And the swine, because it divide up the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. You know what swine is, sister? Pig, right? So the Lord, do you eat pig? Pork? With the Lord, read it again. And the swine, because it divide up the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. What does that sound like it sounds? Not eat pig, right? So what does that mean? What do you have to do? Not eat pig, right? So you gonna do that for God? Uh, uh, yeah. You, you can certainly try or you gonna do it, all right? You can try. Give me uh, First Samuel chapter 2 and 3, all right? You know, we, we, we tried to keep the commandments too, all right? Guess what happened? When we tried, we went into slavery, right? We start hating, we start hating our brothers and sisters, right? Leaving our kids. That's what happened when we tried. But we have to actually do. We gotta be here. We, we gotta be doers of the word, not hearers only. All right? You understand that, sister? We we know it's poly, you know it's hard, right? But hey, you can get a substitute. You can get you know beef, right? There's just substitutes for it, that lamb, right? You can get the substitutes, right? First Samuel two and three. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. We always uh, say we love God uh, according to our words. Right? We always we, we always about that talk. All right? But the Lord, he want to see what? For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. The Lord want to actually see you performing it. All right? Because hey, love is an action word. All right? I can't say I love my wife if I'm, you know, kind of smacking her up, all right? Or KOing her, right? Going off the top rope, all right? Giving her the elbow, right? I can't, I can't love her if I'm really, you know, hitting her, right? So love is an action word. So we have to love God according to commandments. Those are the uh, requirements to show we love God, all right? 
So if you love God, you're going to stop being poor, all right? Because God says so, because you truly love God, all right? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 8. He that commit of sin is of the devil, for the devil sent it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was the, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So you got to destroy the works of the devil, and you also don't want to be a child of the devil, right? So you don't want to commit sin, right? The Lord said, hey, be perfect. Even as my Father in heaven is perfect, right? In Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48, all right? So bring it up. Deuteronomy 4, you have to cut off uh, pork, all right? If you truly love God, all right? Deuteronomy 14 and verse 9, these ye shall eat of all that are in the waters. That's about to get to what you can eat in the waters, all right? Do you eat any seafood? Oh, you are allergic to all seafood? I'm going to stay reading for edification sake. Okay, I'll pray. All that have fins and scales shall ye eat. So if you wasn't allergic, right? You, you, it must have fins and scales, right? It must have fins and scales. It must have those two requirements, right? Reed? And whatsoever have not fins and scales, ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you. So, you know, you, you, you already allergic, so it, you know, kind of really don't apply. It still apply to you, but... You know, you learn. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27. Bring it out. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. You can't cut yourself, all right? You can't kind of get mad, get depressed, and cut yourself, all right? Even though I probably know you don't do that, all right? But, but I don't, all right? I, but you can't do it, all right? The Lord said you can't do it. Don't do it, all right? <laughs> so no cut yourself, all right? When you, you know, don't cut yourself because God said so, all right? Email. From the top again, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the day, nor print any marks upon you. What that sound like? Printing marks upon you. Yes. Huh? No, not hitting. Printing. Tattoos. You got tattoos? You love tattoos? Okay, okay. Well, give me a uh, X. So no tattoos according to the Bible. At all. You already you know you know you can't get uh you can't get tattoos no more. Alright? If you got some, it's, it's it's okay, but it's not okay, but it's okay because it's grace, right? Acts 17 30. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at when you didn't know. When you didn't know uh eating pork was a sin, when you didn't know getting tattoos was a sin, right? God kinda winked at. Him. He turned his face, right? Kind of let you, you know, go about your business until you finally learn, come up here and learn the true way. All right, you understand that? Three. But now, command of all men everywhere to repent. Now it's time to repent. All right, what is repentance? What is that? Give me uh, Deuteronomy, it's like a proverb, chapter 28, and verse 13. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, and verse number 13, and it reads. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Repentance is turning away from your sins. All right? What is sin? Huh? Not necessarily, right? Is, it, is this a sin? Is that a sin? You don't consider that a bad? What if I stepped on his foot? Stumped on him. Is that bad? It's mean. All right, let me show you this. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever commit of sin, transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin, the transgression of the law. So sin is when you transgress God's laws. Alright? So if you was to eat pork, again, that'll be transgressing God's laws. You would be committing sin. Alright? So in order to repent, you have to ask for forgiveness and turn away from your sins. Right. Alright, you understand that? Let's get some more commandments though. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. So give me 1 Timothy chapter, give me 1 Timothy and uh, uh, the NIV. 1 Timothy 2 and 9 and the NIV. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. I think that's going to two sisters. 
Well, yeah, that too. All right, that's, that's true. All right. It's going to uh, clothing. All right, you, 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 it's, it's going to cross dresses. All right. It said the woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So if a woman can't wear what a man wear, and a, and a man can't wear what a woman wear, we have to figure out what's these things that women can't wear, what's these things that man can't wear. Right? So what do you think that's talking about? That what what can't I wear? Well, you know, yeah, I can't, you know, I ain't got those. I ain't, you know. A dress, a dress. There you go, sister. I can't wear a dress. I can't go full Medea mode, all right? At all! I can't go full uh, Big Mama mode, all right? I can't do that, all right? I would lose all respect, all right? And it's a sin. And it's a sin, all right? You understand that? So as a woman, what can't you wear? If I can't wear a dress or a skirt, what can't you wear? That's all. It's against the laws of God. That is right. All right? So women, well, actually women didn't start wearing pants in the 1960s, right? That's right. That Doing a women liberation movement, all right? They was trying to, you know, be like the man. But they didn't want to go to war, but they tried to be like the man and do, you know, do the things of the man, all right? They say, hey, we can work these jobs, all right? But if you look at the statistics, right, all the hard-working jobs, hey, the man do, all right? Man, is they they're in control of, of everything, right? This 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 world that we living in right now is predominantly dominated or uh, ran ran by men, all right? But the point is, a woman can't wear pants, all right? Because how do you know what's bad from you going in? What, what, what's on the signs? How do you know what's bad from you going in? What's on the signs? So it's two signs. What do the woman have on? They have on a dress, a skirt. All right, when you look at the little emblem, you, know, the, you got the woman, yeah. The man, he got, kind of got his thing going on, all right? But, you know, he, right, imagine if both of them, it was just a picture, no words. Imagine both of them just had pants on. It'd be confusing, you know what I mean? Confusion, all right? So, are you willing to put on dresses and skirts for the Lord? You do? I'm saying like every every day. For God. It's for God. Not for me. I, you know, it's, it's for God. Are you not going to do it? Not for God? I wear pants. Whoa. I'm wearing pants now. Well, well, do you love God? I do. I don't think it's black and white. Well, that, that was kind of black and white. That's scripture. You go with that one? You said what? Wait, hold on, hold on. You you said what's up? That, that's not ours. That's his. All right. You, that sounds hateful for me to tell you the word. Wow. That's the mind of the so-called black woman. Right? Wow. Wants to wear pants. Right? Wow. Deny God for pants. Wow. Oh. Oh. What's up? Wow. Deny God for pants. That is all. My mind is blown. Blown right? away. My mind. My, 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 you literally want to Well, I'm, I'm married, own. sister, all right? And my, and, my, and my woman, she's going to wear uh, a dress, that right? Is right? Yeah. Pants, right? Yeah. She's going to do, and hey, she's she going to follow God, right? Give me Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30, all right? Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30, all right? The Lord, the Lord is not dealing with women doing their own thing, all right? And that's, and that's the lesson I was going to, right? And hey, these women, they're going to be humble, right? Give me book of Isaiah chapter 30, it's like a 3 and verse 16. Bring it up. that want to do her own thing, right? She said, I, hey, she said that was disrespectful. And I told her a commandment. Right? When? Why? That's off. That's what the so-called, that's the, that's the program that the so-called white man that put in our people, right? Damn demons, right? <laughs> Deny God for pants, right? That's off. Madness. Bring it up. Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, yeah, I will say it. Because the daughters of Zion are haughty. What? Are haughty. Are what? Are haughty. And walk with stretch forth neck and watching eyes. Walking and missing as they go. And making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will swipe with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. That's why everything that the so-called uh, black woman is deprived from the things that make her most beautiful. Right? Read. And 
slack it, and the Lord will discover their secret part. Verse 18, in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of the tingling ornaments above their feet and their claws in the round. They all want one commandment. One commandment? What's our nationality? What's our race? Huh? I just learned. What did he tell you? Y'all black, y'all. Like Israelites or y'all black? Which one? Israelites. Y'all sure? A positive. Y'all believe that? Y'all believe what he said? Why? Because he, he, yeah, he, he just told y'all. But it's primary. Or because he, he, he showed y'all the scriptures, right? Y'all believe him because God says so, right? The scripture says so. Let's give y'all a commandment though. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 14 and 8. Deuteronomy 14 and 8. And the swine. The swine is? What is it? It's what, brother? <laughs> because it divideth the hoof, yet chewth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dear carcass. Y'all eat pork? What about y'all? You? Which one? All of these. Y'all all eat pork? No, I don't. You know this. So God says y'all can't eat pork, all right? So are y'all willing to stop eating pork for God? Yeah? What about what about you? Shades? Yeah? Are y'all sure? Y'all don't sound too confident. Y'all do y'all care? I care all along. About God. Yeah. Okay, God says y'all can't eat pork, right? Reed? These shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever have not fins and scales, ye may not eat. Y'all eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. God says y'all can't eat that. Are y'all gonna stop eating that? Because God says so. Huh? Yeah. Well, God said, God see y'all too. So he see when y'all everything y'all eat. You know y'all whole dietary system. Right? He didn't want to debate at first. God says y'all can't eat that. All right, y'all gonna stop eating that for God? Okay, all praise y'all. Israelites, y'all gotta repent. Keep the commandments. Get a flyer from the brother. Hey Zion, get, give him a flyer. Right. Chill. Go, give me uh, Matthew chapter twenty three and twelve. Hey brother. Come here real quick. Let me tell you something. Real quick, buddy. What's your nationality? What's your race? Black and guess. Black and guess. Are you sure? Hey. Are you the same color as my pants? So how you black? That's what they say, man. So what do you think you are? You just, that's not a race, though. Yeah, so what's your race? Huh? Yeah, but your race not determined, your, your, your race not, it's not based off of your, your skin color, all right? You got some Africans, they get as dark as under the bed, all right? So that don't mean they're, they're, they're black, all right? So according to the Bible, you believe in the Bible? Well, what's that, what that mean? Yeah. yeah, what do you believe in? On what? You probably can clear that up for you. Like what though? You said you believe in it a little bit. What you mean? What, what don't you? You don't believe in this man right here? You don't believe in that right there? I believe. I do believe everything. You believe in him? The white man? I believe in. What color is Christ according to the Bible? They say he white according to the Bible. Oh, let me show you. I'm not sure. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ had woolly hair. What people have woolly hair? What people is this? So called black people, right? Agreed. As white as snow. Would this man have woolly hair? He got, he got stringy, uh, he got golden retriever hair. Right? Like a dog. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So Christ had dark skin and woolly hair, all right? But was he calling himself black man? Was he calling himself that? What was he calling himself? Give me Revelation 5 and 5. Look at Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5. And it reads, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. So Christ, he was from the tribe of Judah, all right? 
the, the, the Judites, right? The, the, the tribe of Judah, they come from the, the people of, of Israel or the nation of Israel, right? Look at that sign right there. He'd be a so called African American, so called, right? But he's really from the tribe of Judah. You understand that? He's an Israelite. So you will be an Israelite, right? You understand that? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Y'all come over here too. Come here, come here, come here. Israelite. I'm an Israelite. You an Israelite. Right. All right, here. Smoke kind of, you gotta stop smoking too, brother. It's bad for your lungs. You know what they say on that? They say it can cause cancer. So you gotta stop smoking that, brother. What's our nationality? Y'all race. Somebody pull up uh, Miracle Best Future. Let me show you something. Y'all come here too. I'm trying to hide. I'm trying to hide back there. This is a Marigold Best Future. Look at this man right here. Right. This where this where the word American or America come from. All right. It come from a white man. And pull up uh, African yeah, super Africanus. No. So African American is two white man names. Do y'all have two white fathers? Do you have two white fathers? So I can be African American. So that's a good question. All right, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yes. Let me show you something. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the Lord speaking to his chosen people. All right, read it from the top. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord speaks to his chosen people. He said, in the future, if you don't listen to my commandments, I'm going to place curses upon you. You understand that? So is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? So what you say, brother? A bad thing, right? So let's read a curse that, that the Lord put upon his chosen people. Right? Give me verse 54. How do our people treat each other? Do we treat each other with love or hate? Majority. Which one? If you had to pick. Hate, right? What, what you say, brother? What would she say? Do we treat each other with hate or love? Hate, right? Let me show y'all something that the chosen people of God experience, right? How, how we treat our women? We treat our women good? In our, in our music, do we treat each other good? You said what? Ooh, us? Or you talking about? So, called, so do we treat each other good as a whole? Our women good as a whole? You know what I'm saying? As a majority, do we treat each other, our women good? I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. You, you know what patience is? You know what patience is? You don't have a lot of it? Well, you got to be patient. All right? That's the fruit of the spirit. All right? Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you are very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So this is a curse placed upon God's chosen people. All right? They have an evil eye towards their own brothers. This is proving who y'all are according to the Bible. This people got a curse placed upon them. All right? It's like it's showing the the, the, the uh, things that these people go to go through. All right, Rick. And, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And this man will be known for leaving his children. Y'all care at all? I don't care. What you mean? With how much we make? If I listen, I'm here, right? You said what? If I didn't cry, I would walk away. That's one thing about it. All right, y'all. Y'all, y'all can go about your day, and, and you gotta repent. All right. What, 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 you, you, a, you, you a woman? What y'all, 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 what y'all doing? Y'all together? Y'all, yeah, y'all together? Yeah. Y'all are? Yeah. Y'all believe in God, right? Christian. You a Christian? You follow, you follow the Bible? You need to, you need Leviticus chapter twenty and thirteen. What well, do so you, you follow the whole Bible? What about you? Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. So God said, woman can't lie with woman. 
This one is a walk away from situation. Right. So, oh, that right. Y'all don't know the Bible? I don't know. Wait, hold on. Y'all said y'all believe in this. Why y'all, y'all, the Lord said you can't be offended in this. You're right. So, if, you, if you God. Right. You're right. trying to be funny. If, no, no, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. No, right? I, got, I don't. I, 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 no, shut up. I understand what you're saying. So, no. according to the Bible, no. you can't be. I cannot lay with women. Be a lesbian. Right? I cannot lay with women, right? Yeah. That's fine. But this is 2023, y'all. This is, no, no. Do God change? Do God change? Hold on. Is God different in 2024? Hold on. If I do not marry women, I am fine. All right. If I do not marry women, I am fine. Give me Malachi chapter 3 and 6. You said what? If I do not marry a woman, I am fine. Well, you, it's impossible to marry a woman, all right? Because uh, marriage is sex, all right? Y'all got to come out of that lifestyle, all right? You're a woman. Put on a dress, all right? Can't you go through the same what? thing she go through, right? You bleed every month, right? Please. You're not a man. You will never be a man. We can't or die. That is right. I'm getting tired of this wickedness on the earth, right? You can't dunk a madness. basketball. Madness. <laughs> Malachi, three and six, just burning in your lust, right? Crappy much, right? That's because I say. For I am the Lord. I change not. It's 2023. I change not. Year's resolution. I change not. Or not changing, right? Why do people think because it's 2023 you can do your own thing, right? Wow. No, the Lord is the same today, yeah, yesterday, and forever, right? That's give me, right. give me Hebrews chapter 13 and 8. It's Hebrews chapter 13 and verse number 8. Give me uh, Joel chapter 23 and verse. Uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. He's the same forever, right? Think a think a year, the so-called white man year. A, 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 you can you can do what you want, right? That's all. That's all. What's your nationality? Yeah, <laughs> What's your nationality? Y'all race. Huh? Black? 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 What's your race? Black? Black too? Y'all all black? For sure. You the same colors as turtleneck? It's your, your skin, your skin is the same colors as turtleneck. What color is your skin? What color is this turtleneck? What color is your skin? What color is this turtleneck? Is those the same color? Uh, so how are y'all black? Is a choice. Well, black. well, you better choose God, sister. Right? right. So, look. Right. Look, look, brothers, look. So y'all not black, right? It's just the color of a crayon box, right? You understand that, right? So if y'all not black, what would y'all be? Y'all be brown, but what would be y'all race? Y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in the Bible? What was God's, what was Jesus' race? What did he look like? Did he look like that? Do we look like this though? Who is this? Y'all know, know who this is right here? Y'all know who that is? That's supposed to be Jesus. That's supposed to be Jesus. What do he look like? Now, what do you look like according to the Bible? Look, oh, okay, all race, all race, all right. The book of Revelation, chapter thir chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, this is a depiction of Christ. One like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hair were white like wool. Christ had woolly hair, like this brother right here. All right. Christ had that same type of hair. All right. All right. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Right, so Christ was a dark skinned man with woolly hair like this brother right here. All right. Like us, all right? But what was his race? Did he call himself black man? African American man, what do you call this stuff? Y'all know? Let's find out. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and 22. Hebrews 7 14, and it reads For it is evident that our Lord sprang out 
of Judah. Christ, he comes from the tribe of Judah. All right. What, what tribe is that on here? What, what would be his race today? Look at that sign. He would be a, a so-called American black today, all right? So what would y'all be if y'all was around the time of him, all right? What, what would y'all go by? I'm a black Judah, all right? From, from the nation of Israel, all right? Because Christ is, we, we're Christ people, all right? So we had the same race as him. So we would be Israelites from the tribe of Judah. You understand that? What's our race? Of course, the Bible. Israelites. All right? Y'all would be Israelites. Yeah, I need all y'all to say it. I ain't hear you. I ain't hear him. I ain't hear him. Huh? I need, I need all y'all to say it. I ain't hear y'all. I ain't hear y'all. Pass it all around. Israelite. That's right, brother. Y'all Israel. Y'all black. Y'all black. Who are y'all? Israelites. You know? So as Israelites, what do we have to do? What's our requirements as Israelites? Yeah, spread the word with us. How do we love God? How do y'all say y'all love God? Let me, let me show you. It's the book of John. Chapter 14 and verse number 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Look, if ye love me, keep my commandments. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What do these young brothers got to do? If ye love me, keep my commandments. What do y'all have to do? You got you to keep God's commandments, right? Do y'all know any commandments? What commandments do y'all know? Right there on fire, all right? I want, I want to hear something from him right here. You saying so many. What else? Anybody else know one? Besides him? Let me show y'all something. Give me Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Yes, sir. Y'all, y'all listening? Read it again. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. We can't cut our hair all the way off, all right? Y'all can't get a bull head. No Kobe Dean Bryant, all right? No bull heads, brother, all right? Well, you think about getting a bull head? No bull, no bull heads, brother, all right? You want a bull head? You can't get a bull head, brother, all right? Read. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. You know, when y'all get old enough, right, y'all got to grow a beard out, all right? Like this brother right here with the corduroy, all right? Y'all got to grow a beard out like this brother with the corduroy, all right? So you can't cut your beard off, okay? So y'all get a beard, keep it, all right? Read. Verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You can't cut yourself either. All right? Y'all y'all ever did something like that? Participated in something like that? Y'all bet not. All right? Because God says so. All right? That's right. So no bull heads. That's a commandment. All right? No cutting your beard. That's another commandment. All right? Y'all remember that? Read. Nor print any marks upon you. Say nor print any marks upon you. What that sound like? What that sound like, brother? You can't print any marks upon you. What that sound like? Tag, tag him in. Tattoos. That's right, brother. That's right. No tattoos. Which one of y'all was thinking about getting tattoos? You and us? All of them. Well, hey, you can't. All right, how old is you? 15? 12? 14? No tattoos, all right? You bet not, brother. I see the look in your eyes, brother. No tattoos, brother. All right, brother? See you kind of rubbing your arm where you probably was going to get it at. Don't, don't get it right there. Bro. Don't get it at all, brother. All right? No sleeves. No marking up your body. That's an Egyptian custom. All right? Y'all understand that? If y'all love God, y'all going to keep his commandments. So no tattoos. All right? Okay? So what y'all just learned? Well, I, you can't say it, because you, you know, I want to hear from him. I want to hear from him right here. No tattoos, right? No bald heads. No cutting your beards. And no cutting your That's four. Right, the man is right there, all right? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 14 and 8. Y'all eat pork? You don't eat it? You do eat pork? I mean, yeah, brother. That's a yay be yay, you may be yay, right? <laughs> What about you, brother? Brother, come on, brother. Stay strong for the Lord, bro. Alright? You eat pork? You eat pork? What about you? 
You like pork? You like bacon? What about you, baby? You like it? Pepperoni? You like pepperoni? He like says you don't eat pork, bro. Come on, bro. Give me the video shot to 19 versus 11. He says you what? You eat sometimes? I mean, yeah, brother. Nineteen and eleven is another commandment. Y'all listen and pay attention, brother. All right? Yeah, you pay attention. You slide over so you can see, right? Ye shall not steal. Neither deal falsely. Can't steal. All right? Y'all ever stole? Y'all ever stole some chicken from the stove? You kind of snuck them in your back pockets, right? When the, the cashier will look, y'all ever stole some, some Tic Tacs from that, that, that white shelf, right? Y'all ever did that? Y'all ever, you, you did that before? Well, you can't steal, all right? You can't steal from your brother. Right? What he doing, right? <laughs> but hey, it, it is what it is, right? You, you can't steal. Don't steal. Don't steal it. Neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Can't lie to your brother, right? No lying. That's another commandment, right? No lying, brother. Do you lie? No lying. Because God says so, right? That was a lie right there. Well, he better not, right? You better stop it. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 8. Bring that up. And the swine. You know what swine is? It's an old English way of saying uh, pig. All right. Read. Because it divided the hoof and chew up not the cud, it is unclean. Pig, it don't properly digest this food. All right. Read. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. You can't eat pork. No, no pig. You can't eat that. All right. Y'all understand that? So, who said they all? Y'all all eat pig, right? So, y'all have to stop if y'all love God. Are y'all willing to stop eating pork for God? What about you? I ain't hear you. Okay, but you better eat it. Yeah, brother. Y'all know what pigs eat? Everything except another dead pig, right? That's the only thing a pig won't eat. They eat everything else. Alright? So no eating pork. You understand that? So what y'all gotta stop eating? Pork. Alright, read. Reading on. Neither nor touch their dead carcass. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. They get to what you can eat in the waters. Y'all right? y'all love seafood? Seafood boys? Alright? Y'all know that? What about you, brother? All, right, All that have fins and scales shall ye eat. Waters, all right? They must have fins and scales, all right? Do y'all know any fish that got fins and scales? What fish do y'all know that got fins and scales? Huh? Goldfish? They got fins and scales? Fins and scales? All right, hey, if you got fins and scales, you can eat it, all right? But examine the matter first, right? Because y'all can't eat catfish. No shrimp, crab, or lobster. Yeah, no, no shrimp, crab, or lobster, all right? You can't eat catfish because they don't got uh, scales. All right? Them, them is uh, bottom feeders, too. You got to fish them out the mud, all right? Because scales are supposed to filter out and protect the toxins to get you inside the fish. That's right, that's right, brother, that's right. So... No, no, you, you must have fins and scales, right? What must it have if you eat it out the waters? I hear you, brother. Fins and scales. You must have fins and scales to, if you, if, to consume. All right, all right, you understand that? So, let's get one more. Give me Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18, right? Let's get on that cross right there. You know, this, you, you know what happened on that cross? Yeah, do you think he'd be happy to see you wearing what he died on? Think he'd be happy to see what he died on? You don't think he'd have nightmares about that, right? If he was, you know, you know if, if that was going on, right? You understand that? You don't think he got it? Well, the, the cross was a, uh, a capital punishment. That's like uh, somebody in Florida dying, getting, getting a capital punishment, they get the electric chair, right? If Christ died modernly today, he would get the electric chair. All right, you understand that? So that's what they was doing back then. They had to, they had the cross to, to punish people, for cap, capital punishment. That's a, that that'd be the exact same thing if you put an uh, electric chair on your chain. It was rocking an electric chair. Yeah, Christ Christ never told us to wear a cross. That's actually a form of uh, idolatry, which is another commandment. We can't uh, we can't worship graven images. All right. Bring out, uh, no, bring out, uh, the cross. 
In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 25, and it reads, as it is written, These graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Wearing a cross is an abomination, right? Christ won't be happy to see him on the cross, right? So you have to throw it, brother. That's right, brother. Throw that cross. That's right, throw it in the street. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. That's right, brother. That's right. Because Christ, he won't be happy to see that, right? All praise him. Oh, 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 this brother got a cross on, right? Y'all see this brother right here? He got a cross on. Is he supposed to wear that? Is he supposed to wear that? Hey, is he supposed to wear that here? I'm a brother right here. I got a cross on. Tell him he's supposed to wear that, bro. Tell him he's supposed to wear that, man. At all, brother. Tell him again. Tell him again. At all. Tell him he's supposed to wear that, brother. At all. I ain't going to know where. I'm just. He tell him. He tell him. He got to tell him. Tell him he's supposed to wear that. Why he supposed to wear that? Hey brother, you gotta take that cross off, brother. The young man has spoken, all right? I take it off, I'll put it in my pocket. You said what, brother? I take it off, put it in my pocket. No, no, you gotta throw that cross, brother. Hey, you are, you are, Joe. Hey, Christ died on that, brother. You won't be happy to see that, brother. Wow. I got a bond shot. Some people, hey, some people, they really don't love. I paid 300, they got a Love is an action word, all right? If you love God, you're going to do the things he tell you to do. I take it off. That brother loved God. That brother showed the actions of loving God. He repented. He showed repentance, right? All praise to your Howell Bosch and the other right? So before y'all leave, y'all have to uh, tell me three things y'all learned, all right? I need... Well, let me give y'all this last one. I'm going to give y'all a quiz. Give me a five quiz, right? It's Numbers 15 to 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who? The children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Us. All right. Look, I ain't hear you. Huh? Bro, you, you, you silent, bro. Come, come to the front, brother. Come here. Come to the front, bro. You kind of quiet. Somebody move that cooler. See, brother, I don't know what, brother. We want you closer. We want you closer, brother. Right there. Because I ain't hear you. What you say again? Us. Okay, okay. Us. We the who? <laughs> All right, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. God said we have to put fringes in the borders of our garment, right? This is fringes. Y'all see these? Y'all think these look cool? Timothy, you said no? Brother, I look cool up here with these like on, bro. Fresh, you like these right here? You know what? What about you? You, you like, which ones you like? Okay, 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 okay. Because this is our custom, right? This is our custom. Our custom isn't isn't BET. Our custom isn't BET and, and playing basketball, right? And, and R and B. That's not our custom, right? Our custom is found within this Bible, right? Every 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 other nation has a, a custom on what they wear, right? You got the so-called Chinese man. He wear his komodo, right? So-called African man. He wear a, a leaf, right, with strings on it, right? You got, got the so-called uh, Hawaiian man, he wear a grass skirt, right? So, and we have our customs, brother, and you'll see every brother got these on because it's a commandment. We show we love God, right? You love God? What about you? What about you, brother? You love God? Okay, you, you love God, brother? So we have to do, we got to wear these to love God, right? Speaking to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why every brother out here got a ribbon of blue. They don't got a ribbon of blue, and hey, y'all better rebuke them. All right, get on them. All right, because they're supposed to be blue. Because God says so. Right. And it's blue. It's a it's a royal color. All right, y'all understand that? So this is a commandment. Y'all have to get these. All right. So before y'all go, let's start with two. You gotta give me two things you learned. Well, it's two for you, and it's three for everybody else. Right? Don't eat pork and don't steal. Right, Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. What? Fins and what? 
skills. Fiends and skills. Must have fiends and skills. What else, brother? What else you learn? Don't shave your head. Don't shave your head, boy, right? Yeah, that's, that's just them two. Uh, he got three. Right, three. Go ahead. One more. Don't shave, don't shave your beard. What about you, brother? Alright, right, right. What about you, brother? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I said the same thing. <laughs> No tattoos. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on you said what? We Israel. We Israel, right? That's good. That's good. What about you? Not no tattoos. We Israel. What else? All right, all right. That's a, it's another one y'all missed. All right. Somebody threw it. No crosses. All right. That's wicked. Okay. What, what's y'all race again? Israelites, all right? Make sure they remember, all right? They black. No, he's, no, he's black. He's black. Oh, no, 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 he's not black, brother. He's an Israelite. He's an Israelite. You're supposed to correct me, brother. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. All right, I'm going to give you another commandment. Chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Y'all can't hate your brother, all right? And y'all can't, y'all have to rebuke your brother, all right? I mean, correct them. If they not keeping the laws, so if you see him eating some pork, all right? You tell him he's he's going off, he's wrong, all right? Pork, tell him he's wrong. That's how you rebuke him, all right? If he say he's black again, all right? Rebuke him, he's an Israelite, all right? Y'all understand that? Y'all got any questions? No questions at all? Y'all missed one more thing. What color was Christ? What color was Christ? What trial was uh, Christ from? Huh? Judah, that's right. Ah! Y'all take a picture of this. Y'all got y'all phones on y'all? Take picture of this side. Dead. All y'all phones dead? I'm gonna give y'all a flyer. Who, who brothers? It's your brother? Your brothers with them too? Brothers and cousins. Brothers and cousins. Oh, that's mighty. Brothers and cousins getting this truth at the same time. Y'all strong. Y'all keep it together, man. Y'all keep it together. That's mighty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all got to do something with that. Burn it. This is, um. Step on it. This, um. This is Caesar Borgia. This is Caesar Borgia, right? You can't have this, bro. You got a lighter. You got to throw that away, brother. Wait, burn it. You got to put it off the street. Look, fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. I need everybody to stop on this. Stop that boy out. Hold on, hold on. Put him on the floor. You gotta stuff that man out, bro. Yeah, y'all tweaking. We tweaking. That's like even even though even though that's not Jesus, obviously. That's yeah. symbolizing. That's symbolizing Jesus. So this, no. you, you know, you, they came, they put us in slavery, right? They had this picture. They said worship this man or get put to death. Right? That's the option they gave us, right? So you have to stuff that man out, right? A lot of our people died over that image because they didn't want to bow down to it, right, brother? Hey, King. You know who that man is? That's an actual man named Caesar Borgia. He had sex with his sister. He killed his brother, and he was a homosexual. And they, and they said that's Jesus. This is real image right here. So they really, they really mocking us. You understand that, King? So that's why we stuffed that picture up. So can you do that for me, King? You gotta stuff that image off, brother. Put your foot on it at least, brother. That's not Christ, brother. On it. That's not Christ, brother. That's not Christ, brother. That's your of enemy, brother. You, brother. you brother. didn't do it again. He yeah. didn't do it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. You too, brother. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tap it. Come on, stop brother. that man! Oh. Stop on it! It's like a 13. That's He's like a 30 on it. Stop on it. Huh? You gotta stop that man. Look, man. Yeah, hey, That's not Freddy Cooper. This, this, this image, hey, it, it, it deceived our people, right? It's a lie. It's not the truth, brother. We're telling you the truth right here. Out the Bible, brother. 
But y'all are Israelites, y'all have to repent, keep the commandments, all right? You understand that? You see that picture right there, all right? Set it on fire. We, we gonna do, we gonna, we gonna destroy them, all right? All right, y'all Israelites do it, all right? Remember that. Y'all be safe out here, all right? All right, bro. What's y'all race? All right, all right, all right. Let's test it, all right? Y'all know y'all nationality. Right? Right? Brothers waking up left to right. right? All praises to the most high. What's going on with the line? Where is that? Oh no. Where is that on the line? Whoa, where is everybody? You good, brother? I'm good. I'm just sitting here, so You got time for the Bible? Come over here, brother. I'm right here. Come here. Come over here. Come talk to me. Dialogue with your brothers. You a Christian? You threw away the cross? Yeah. All praise to the most high. You hold still on, got man. it? Hold up. I got, hold up. You still got the cross? I got a cross. Wow. What you doing, bro? Hey, brother. You got some drinks, brother? Hold up, hold up. I got a cross. Too. You got some drinks, brother? Uh, hold up. I got a cross. Uh -huh. I can't find it. I got a call. Well, listen, listen, I'm going to tell you. What, I'm going to tell you. I, I traveled the world. I traveled the world. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I traveled the world. Did you have some drinks, bro? No, but listen, I, I, I have no religion. I don't have no religion. Yeah, we don't either, brother. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't have no religion. Yeah. 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 Yeah, any reason? Oh, you finna tell me? What, 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 brother? What, brother? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Have you had any drinks going nowhere? You ain't had no drinks. You had any drinks? Yeah, yeah, I drink. I got a part in my face. Job 32 and 9. Great men are not always wise. Verse 7. I said, they should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man. What? There is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty give us them understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the age understand judgment. Great men are not always wise, right? Great, great men, that's what's in the so-called Israelite, the so-called black man community, is not all wise, right? So that's why we give me uh, 1 Timothy chapter 14, 4 of us today. We uh, pro Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 23. Yeah, he drunk wild, brother. But he, get, he didn't get drunk. Huh? What the? So is it different? A drink of wine and getting drunk? Is that a difference? You, you, you had too much, brother. You had too much. You talking to the boy. I'm listening. Alright, brother. You an Israelite, though. You know that? Do you know you're an Israelite? Do you know you're an Israelite? You're an Israelite. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 31 and verse 7. Let, so I can, verse 5. Sorry, three times. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroy a king. It is not for kings, all the male, it is not for kings to drink wine, for kings to drink wine, nor for princes, strong drink. Hey, wine destroys man, right? Give me a uh, second, give me first Ezra chapter 3, but, but, verse 18. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Give me first Ezra chapter 3, verse 18. In moderation, brother, in moderation. First Timothy 3 and 18. It's like the first Ezra 3 and 18. He said, Thus, O ye men, uh, how exceeding strong is wine. How exceeding strong is wine. Because of all men to air that drink. It make of the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one. Of the bondman and of the freeman. Of the poor man and of the rich. And turn up also every thought into childhood. Sorry, every thought into jollity, right? Greek and mirth, so that a man remember of neither sorrow nor death. So, by the way, why the story is bad, right? Okay. Why, hey, why causes your your uh, your memory to cease, right? You don't even know what went on last night, okay. right? Reed? 
you wake up in a trunk, hey, hey, put naked into your water. Right? Like a like, uh, child with a uh, hangover, right? Read. And then make of every heart rich, so that a man remember of neither king nor governor. And then make of to speak all things by talent. Right, give me, go back to uh, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 16. And give me um, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse number 6. I want that first. Book Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6 and 3. Yep, me too. How ye for the day of the Lord. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Come listen to the Bible. Uno momento, hermano. I mean, hermanas. All right. Senorita. Senorita. Uno momento, serrete, serrete. Hermana. Hermana. In the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is what? For the day of the Lord is at hand. Is as what? Is at hand. Is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Come here, brother. Come here, brother. Come here, real quick, brother. The bike. On the bike. Come here, brother. With the bike. All right. Okay. Okay. Yep. You a Christian, brother? Where are you? What's your domination? You a Baptist? You believe in uh, Christ, right? You believe in Christ? You believe in the whole Bible? You don't believe in the whole Bible? I can't hear you. Can you come up a little bit? I'm reading the Bible. I haven't read the Oh, you haven't read it? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what, what's the race according to the Bible? Huh? Did I talk to you before? Yeah. Okay, I remember you because I remember him. All right. Y'all remember y'all race? What's y'all race? What did I What did I tell y'all last time? Do you remember? You an Israelite. All right. God chose the people. You remember that? You do. As an Israelite, what do we have to do? Say what, brother? You are. You got what? You believe you're an Israelite? What's going on? Y'all all right? Yeah, we are. Come on, come on. I'm talking about them right here. All right. But you, you, you believe you're an Israelite, though, right? So as an Israelite, we have to keep the commandments. All right. You believe that? As an Israelite, we have to keep the commandments. Do you know any commandments? What, what commandments you know? How many is it? Well, it's, it's, it's over 600. All right? We have to live by all those laws. You understand that, brother? So let's learn some commandments, but you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Do? Well, let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 14 and 8. Verse 8. And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet you have not the cud. It is unclean unto you. It is unclean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their bread carcass. So God said we can't eat pork, according to the Bible. Are you going to stop eating pork, brothers? You, will you stop, though? You can, but will you? I don't have to have. Okay, okay. So you, so you, you go, you gonna stop tomorrow, tonight? As soon as possible. I got some food. Oh, hold on, hold on. Destroy. You know what sin is? If I eat it, I can stop after. You got, so you gonna, you gonna eat it? You gonna sin first and then stop? Why not? For God, you won't throw it away. If He told you not to eat it, you just gonna eat it anyway. Yeah, So you gonna throw it away? Okay, well, pray. Uh, will you though? I know you can do it. I can do a lot of things, brother. I can, I can do a backflip. You know, as soon as I wrap up cap, right? So will you do it, brother? I will. You will, you will stop being poor. Like I said, I don't have to have. Like, so, yeah, I can do without. Okay, you can do without. That, that, all praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. All right, continue reading. What's up, people? 
Oh, okay, okay. That's why you stopping? Yeah, that's You ain't stopping for the words of God? You want to stop it for the words of God? Okay, where you going then, brother? I'm on my way home. What about the words of God, brother? I'm always got time for that, but I got some So hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. You say you got time, but you about to roll away. I got time to hear it when I can hear it. All right, but you, you an Israelite. You remember that, right? Yes, sir. What's your race? You got to confirm it, brother. What's your race? Brother. Not, you're not African American, brother. You're an Israelite. Okay. How can you be African American and an Israelite? Like I said, I'm not up on You said you what? All right, here, you get a flyer, brother. Here, you get a flyer. <laughs> don't, don't ever say African American again, right? That, that, that's to make my skin crawl. All right. You an Israelite. All right. Okay. And, and, and you know, you tell him. Next time you see him, talk to him about the Israelites. All right. You got that's that's your word? Okay. Okay, brother. Okay, right. brother. Tell him too. Alright? Tell him as soon as you as soon as you get right there by. Alright? And all are y'all Hispanic? On the moment though? Alright? All, all the heathen are going into slavery. Alright? That's right. Can't stand you heathen's faces. Alright? Somebody get that death note up and running, right? Back to some names. Yeah. Right? Where's the death note? Go back to uh, right Isaiah. It's, it's a group, all right? Let me see, you see, you see what's going on. Hey, what's your name right here with the blazer? What's your name? Matt? What about you? Matt? Matt, Chris, what about you? You got Matt and Chris, right? Add it to the band, right? They're on that death note. They're on that death note, all right? Soon, they will be no more, all right? All right? And L, hey, L, he's not gonna stop us, all right? All praises to the most high. Bring it up. The book of Isaiah. Hey, ain't no mortal man like L stop hey, the, these, these curses, all right? It ain't going down, all right, read. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 7, Therefore, shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. It's speaking about hey, that time of great tribulation, right? Man, hands is going to fail, right? Except the man of the Lord, the righteous, right? The so-called white man, right? All his wisdom is going to be deprived. His left-hand wisdom, right? All his strength is going to deprive, right? Even though we see it hey, being uh, depleted now, it's going to completely be gone, right, Read. Don't be afraid, right? Hey, shaking in her boots, right? Read. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as they shall like it. They shall be in pain as a woman that trailers. Right, they're gonna be in, in pain as a woman that's a villain, right? See, it's a cop. The low rider, right? Y'all going into slavery. All so-called white man is going into slavery, right? Especially one with with purple uh, shorts, right? Whatever those are. You go, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Come here, real quick. You said you what? Bitch, what's your father? A what? He's black. Oh, you said black? Oh, well, what about her? That's your friend. Get over here. I said no. <laughs> What's her father? Same. That's a that's your friend or your sister or your cousin. But y'all be Israelites according to the Bible. All right. You know what an Israelite is? Israelite is God's chosen people. All right. You believe in the Bible? God called you an Israelite. All right. He didn't call you a uh, black or mixed. There's no such thing as mixed. All right, that seed that's a, that's a father planted, and you you are that. All right, like if I plant an apple seed, it's gonna come up to be a what? An apple tree. All right. So your father planted a seed within you. You are who your father is. All right. You understand that? So no such thing as mix. You are who your father is. All right. So called white man came up with the concept of, of mix. It's not a real, you know, it's not it's not real. But according to the Bible, you're an Israelite. Let me give you one verse real quick. One verse. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy 28. How did, how did our people get here? How do our people, how did